Welcome to Animals. In this lesson I'm learning to find fractions of a set. Well, you can see down here I've got 20 tennis balls and I need to share those 20 tennis balls between these two containers. And I'm wanting to find out how many tennis balls will there be in one container. So to do that I'm obviously going to have to split these 20 tennis balls in half and I can record that like this. I'm trying to find half of these 20 tennis balls. So now I need to think, how could I share out these uh, 20 tennis balls? Well, I could share out these first 10 because I'm good at finding half of 10. I know that half of 10 is 5, so I can put 5 tennis balls from this row into this container and 5 into there. I'm going to do that now. So there you go, the first 5 can, uh, tennis balls into the first container and the other 5 into the second container. So, so far we've shared out half of the 20, which means I've got the other half or the other 10 to, do, to go. So, so far there's 5 tennis balls in each container, so I think by the end of this there must be 10. But we can check by actually sharing these out. So, just like last time, I'm going to put 5 into container 1 and the other 5 into container 2. So, here you go, 5 more up to there, and the last 5 into the second container. So you can see that we're right. In uh, each of the containers there are now 10 tennis balls. So half of 20 must equal 10. Now let's try another question a bit similar to that. Well, down here you can see I've got 12 tennis balls but this time I've got three containers that I need to share them between. So I'm thinking, how could I share out these 12 containers, uh, these 12 tennis balls, into three containers? And I can record that like this. I'm trying to find out what one third of these 12 tennis balls would be, or how many tennis balls there's going to be in one of those three containers. Well, I know that if I only had uh, six tennis balls, I'd have to put two tennis balls in each container. So I'm going to start by sharing two into each of the containers. There we go. Two into container one. Two into container two. And two into container three. So, so far we've shared out half of the 12 tennis balls and we've got two in each container. So I think after we've shared out the other half, we should have another two in each container, which means we'll have a total of four in each container. But let's share out the rest, just the same way as we did the first half, and we'll find out if we're right. So here you go, two more for container one, two more for container two, and two more for container three. And you can see that we were right. There's four tennis balls in each container, so one third of 12 must equal four. Let's try one last question. Uh, this time, I've got 50 tennis balls, which I need to share evenly between five containers. Now, I could go through and put one in each container, then go through and put a second one in each container, but like what we've been doing with the other ones, let's see if we can find a quicker way of working this question out. So I want to work out how many tennis balls will there be in one container, one out of the five. So I can say I'm trying to find one-fifth of the 50 tennis balls. Well, let's start by seeing what would happen if I put two tennis balls in each container. So I'll put two here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. Now I'm good at count, skip counting in two, so I know two, four, six, eight, ten. Now that's nowhere near enough. I've only shared out ten, but I need to share out fifty. So I'm going to have to think of a bigger number that I could put in each container. Well, we could try putting five in and see what happens. So I'm putting five in each of those containers, and then I'm going to work out how many I've shared out by skip counting. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Now, twenty-five is not enough because I need to share out fifty 
but it does help me work out how many I should put in each. I know that 25 is half of 50, so I'm going to try a number which is twice as big. Okay, so I'm going to cross out all my fives, and now I'm going to try tens. I could put 10 in each of these containers. So now I'm going to skip count again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Perfect, that's all the tennis balls shared out. I've got an even amount in each of my containers, so the answer to one-fifth of 50 is 10. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.